How's it going everyone? My name's Sam. I want to talk to you about how to become a millionaire. Now, there are a lot of search results when you look up how to become a millionaire online. 78 million. So there's a lot to sort through, right? There are a lot of different people that say different things, whether it's develop a career and expertise, create a side hustle, invest in real estate, 10 money rules that help me become a millionaire at 28. Some people on TikTok just talk about make 20% a day or 20% a week for a year in your investments. If you can just make 20% a week every single week for a year with $100 starting off, you can be a millionaire. Much easier said than done. Otherwise, you'd be the best investor of all time. So I'm going to give you a very simple way, a very easy way to follow, a very low risk way of becoming a millionaire with $100 a week. Now, this is not gonna require you to invest a lot of money. Now, this isn't a little bit of money by any means, right? $100 a week for a lot of people, that is difficult. So you might have to get up to that point over time. You might have to grow your income a little bit, but I think it's something that many people can do and many people will do throughout their lifespans. So we're gonna get into that. If you guys don't mind, just hitting the like button. I really appreciate that. So thank you for doing that. Please hit subscribe if you haven't done already too. So what I'm doing is, this is my secret way of becoming a millionaire, very simply, very easily. Doesn't really take too much effort by any means. And you know, I have investments, I have index funds, I have individual stocks, I have cryptocurrency. But one of the simplest things I do is throw $100 a week into this portfolio here. So But one of the simplest things I do is throw $100 a week into this dividend and income growth portfolio. Now, some people can argue against dividends. Some people say dividends are great. Some people think that they're awful. They're not awful, but at least they're not the best use of money. I suggest, if you guys don't already have this, setting up maybe an account with M1 Finance, maybe a Roth IRA or something like that. There is a link down below to get $30. I want you to deposit some money. So... You can see here that there's just extreme steady growth over time. Sure, there's a little bit of a dip, but you don't lose 50% in some of these dividend stocks. And like I said, this isn't necessarily the highest growth way or the fastest way to become a millionaire, but something where you really don't have to worry about your investments that much. I have good solid companies with real estate in here, such as Store Capital, JP Morgan Chase, uh, one of the best banks in the world, Disney. Foot Locker, Realty Income, another REIT, IIPR, they lend to MJ companies that need cash injections. Apple, which I just added recently, one of the best companies in the world. They pay a dividend. They've been growing it steadily over time. Qualcomm, Packer, both in the tech industry, pay dividends. Big Five Sporting Goods. So you add some money, add $100 a week over time, you get dividends. So that's the point of this portfolio. It's gonna give me steady dividend growth. So let's take a look. Let's take a look at just the dividends here. Now, keep in mind, I've only been doing this for one year and we'll show you how quickly this can grow here in a second. But you can see $1 here. I get this dividend every single month from realty income. Not a lot of money, but imagine 10 years from now. Imagine 20, 30 years from now where the dividends are put back into the stocks and then they just compound. You can look at AT&T, $10, not bad. JP Morgan Chase, $5. Foot Locker, $2. Realty Income, $1. IIPR, $1.50. Store Capital, $13 a quarter. Qualcomm, dollar. Realty Income, dollar. It just goes down the line, right? Look how many dividends I've gotten over the last couple months. Now, of course, this isn't gonna make you a millionaire right away, right? A dollar a month, $2 a month, it's not gonna make you a millionaire. However, start looking down the line a little bit. You start looking 36 years out. This is this was my plan at first, right? So I figured I was 24 at the time that I started this. I've documented it since the beginning. Now, not every week. I used to do that every week, tell you exactly what I was buying. Now I don't as much anymore. But 36 years. So I started at 24, 
and at 60, 8% return on investment a year. You know, pretty middle of the road, not not a great return, not bad though, about what the indexes do, $100 a week. So the 8% return is including dividends. So I only need 4% price appreciation. You know, dividend growth helps too. Companies add uh, or give you more amount in uh, in dividends every year usually. A lot, of, a lot of companies do that, some don't. $100 a week. After 36 years, that's over a million dollars. By the end, you're making about $40,000 a year off dividends, 30 to 40. Depending on the companies you invest in, it can be more or less. But that's a million dollar portfolio. Now, this is pretty easy. It doesn't really, it doesn't really get you stressed out for the most part because you're just investing in good quality companies. You're not trying to pick out the next best growth stock or anything like that. You're buying solid companies with real estate or maybe their banks, something like that, that pay nice dividends but have good growth. I look for good balance sheets, good revenue growth, good net income. Make sure that they are still growing, still uh, in a good position to grow in the future and that they can actually pay out the dividends that they are giving now, right? You don't want to buy a company that's giving all their free cash flow just to pay out dividends. So this might be something that you have to learn over time, but you can see very easy to make a million dollars if you just steadily invest over time. Now you can do this with index funds, right? You can do this with growth stocks. You can do it through other means. I have index funds. I have growth stocks too, but this is something again, it's just steady. It's something where uh, it might not always be the best option. We don't know. We won't know for 40 years whether these are some of the better stocks to invest in than growth. But the thing is, will this get you motivated to invest when you see dividends coming in? I would say yes, for the most part. Now, if you can do this in a tax advantaged account, all the better. I will say too, this is not the only account that I'm getting some type of dividend in. I actually own crypto. Now, these aren't called dividends but I get interest rates on my crypto. So if you guys are interested in crypto, you can actually get interest rates. Right now, I'm getting about uh, just short of $200 a month in interest off my cryptocurrencies. So whether that is Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, Voyager, digital token, uh, they're all different ways to make it. Now, I do have links down there if you guys want a bonus and an interest rate on your cryptos, whether it's BlockFi or Voyager, BlockFi gives a bonus up to $250 and they give you interest rates up to $10. So they have Stablecoin on there too that earns 10%. It doesn't even fluctuate in price, just 10%. So you can become a millionaire without investing in the next Tesla. You can become a millionaire without picking out Bitcoin at $100 and having it go up to $400 or $40,000. You can make a lot of money over time just by steadily investing $100 a week. If you can do more than that, great. If you can't, that's okay. You know, whatever you can do and you can do comfortably, that's awesome. Imagine you start making even better money. You you start getting maybe slightly better returns. Now, I'm not saying you have to go chase anything, but let's say you get an 8.5% return. Let's say you can invest 20 grand throughout the year. Now, not everyone's there yet. Some people are way past there. Some people are investing thousands of dollars every single week. You could have four and a half million (laughs) dollars. Now, of course, right? Maybe you don't need that much. Maybe you want to retire early. Maybe you want to retire at 50. You still have $2 million. Maybe you want to retire at 45. You still have over a million dollars. So there is potential out there. You can make a lot of money. All you have to do is steadily invest. I know I talk about a lot of growth stocks. I'm excited about growth stocks. A lot of other people are too. I love talking about them. I love investing in them. I think they're going to do great over time, but you don't have to just do that. You don't have to just be a growth stock investor. You can invest in other stocks too, like these dividend stocks. Maybe it's part of your portfolio. I'll I'll be honest. It is very satisfying to see these dividends come in. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. It helps out the channel a lot when you hit the like button, when you subscribe. Also check out those links. If you want to try M1 Finance, I really like it as a dividend platform, you can check it out down below. You can get $30 for free. You can check out the link down below to BlockFi to get an interest rate up to 10% on your cryptocurrencies and to get a bonus for signing up. If you want to see what I'm buying every single week in the stock market, in the crypto market, you can check out the link down below to Patreon. 
and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.